The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. We're going to go right over here. I hope we're on here. Right over here. Uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Hey, now we're in business. Let's move on here to take care of some of these things. Well, we got the stock market in new high ground. Not to be too unexpected because we were so strong last week. And then with these figures that they had today, they were off to the races. <clears throat> folks, I have some really great news for you folks today. Coming from the Valley of the Sun over there in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hold on one second. I want to get this out of the way here. And let's see what we have here. Um, I'm going to bring the chart up right now, so bear with me here one second. This is the greatest chart I've seen in a long time, folks. This comes from Johns Hopkins University. My daughter, Laren, did a residency there. I uh, will never forget the first night she was there. She called. She says, Dad, I'm having a hard time falling asleep. And I said, why is that? She says, it's Saturday night and there's gunfire every few minutes. <laughs> this was in Baltimore, Maryland. All right. This is the uh, number of deaths, folks. Take a look here. The number of due deaths, deaths in South Africa and also worldwide, you'll notice they're really dropping dramatically, which is a pretty good sign that maybe this thing is finally getting over. At least these. this is from Johns Hopkins. And, of course, we always have to be worried about fake news, but usually that's a pretty good uh, uh, observation. So let's hope that this is getting close to being the end. I frankly think this is just the beginning. There's going to be Omicron and then Zizing, and they're going to go all through the Greek alphabet and the Australian alphabet and the U.S. alphabet before they finally get enough. They found a way to put the fear of God into everybody and uh, whoever they is, and they're probably going to continue that for quite some time. Let's talk about a few charts. By the way, our guest today will be Shane Smullyan. Later on this week, we're going to have, uh, hopefully, uh, Joe DiNapoli, and then also we're going to have uh, Stan Harley on the line, and also Jeff Hughes. Those are the ones that we have planned for the first four days. Of course, we're off on Friday because of the holiday. Now, for our good friend, Bo, I wanted to bring this chart up today with the stock market really screaming. We're going to take a look here at Nike. You'll notice we had the 135 pattern here. The market went down, you see, to the 61% retracement, rallied up to the 61% retracement of the high from November the 5th. That was with the news. Everything's so extremely bullish. And you can see here for four days, we've gone nowhere. And even today, you can see that the market is actually, you know, I, I haven't updated the price, so I don't know where it is. Uh, but as I saw it today, it was it was not doing very well. Could somebody update me with the price of Nike? Because my data was off a little bit this morning. Yeah, there it is. It's doing the same thing. Thanks, Bo. This stock is not acting very bullish. You know, it's a much weaker than market stock for the first time. You know, in a in a very very long time. So let's uh, do this now. There's a lot of things coming up in 2022, folks, in the foreign currency markets. And over the weekend, we'll be doing a special uh, foreign exchange. Uh, focusing on the euro, the U.S. dollar, and all these things that we have going on. But uh, there's a few markets that are that are acting extremely bullish. And one of them, of course, is this one right here, is the, is the crude oil market. And frankly, folks, uh, th this one is really the one that uh, drives me absolutely nuts because I missed that bottom down there. You'll notice, look at this in the in the crude oil here. We had a beautiful bottom, perfect ABCD 618 at 66. We're trading $9,000 higher in four days, folks. That's $1,500 a day, and I missed it. And I know it was in the middle, well, real, really early in the morning, but usually I have my alerts on, and uh, that's what I'm watching. But this morning was a little bit different because we have the you know holiday-type atmosphere, 
And so all I wanted to do was to see what some of these things were doing this morning. But it happened so quickly, there's not much you can do. Look at this beautiful ABCD pattern right at the 78% level, folks. It's 72. That goes up $3,000. And you can see it just exploded. The real key, folks, came at 73.60. You'll notice the market backed off from 73.60 down to 73.20. Not very much, but that was at the 78% level. Once we exceeded the 78 percent level there was no holding it and now this is where we've gone so far today it's extremely extremely bullish as a matter of fact when we look at this uh, on the long-term pattern when we're watching the uh, the daily chart you'll be able <clears throat> let's make sure I get this up here correctly yeah here it is we'll get up here and take a look at it <clears throat> this is what we're looking at you can see the ABCD pattern comes in at 77.42 the 61 percent retracement comes in at 76.78 uh, so that'll be interesting you know that'll be interesting because the old highs that we had way back here in July also came in at that same level 77 and then we went up to 85 and then now uh, we're going to be testing 77 here uh pretty close to probably today or tomorrow without too much. Now, remember that the trading gets really thin here towards the end of the year. So you've got to put that into your uh, your quiver to remember that uh, there's a lot of things happening that's going on. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. So we want to uh, have it be, be able to answer any questions that you might have. And let's just get on to a couple others. You'll remember a about two months ago, we had a gentleman calling in on the, um, uh, what was it called? I can't remember the name of the stock. It's ZS is the symbol. But this is interesting now because as we look at this ZS, I, I know it's a, some type of a tech stock, but what I don't know. You'll notice I thought the ABCD was going to come in at around 328, and we went all the way up to 378. We came down, you see, down to the 78% level. Then we made a beautiful ABCD here, and we made that number today at uh, at the 28. 20, next was, you can see it written there, 329 was the ABCD leg. Now, that is a perfect Gartley, folks. Uh, now, it may, may not work. But that's the one that you, you look at. And on page 222 of Garley's book, he said, look, you don't have to try to pick a top. Not that I ever have. But uh, all you have to do is wait for the top to come in and sell that first ABCD rally. Folks, my goal for 2022 is to be on this S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and all the others, because when these things never change, all these patterns are all the same, and I trade bear markets much better than I do bull markets, and that's mainly because fear is a greater emotion than greed, but I'm going to be watching that very, very closely for the 24-7 folks, and I'm trying to figure out a way, either through Telegram or something like that, so I could get these things out instantaneously, as opposed to doing it email-wise, but uh, some of these, like that crude oil this morning i mean when i saw that it was real early in the morning here but uh, i had just uh awaked and i saw that and i said oh my goodness this thing looks like it could get ready to go i had no idea it was going to do that and uh so <laughs> fact, but we'll, we'll be right back 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the gold over the last 10 days. You can see we had that big ABCD that came in at the 78% uh, level at uh, 1750, uh, 1754. But this was after that high had been made. That number that we're looking at where that ABCD comes in at 1784, uh, that was a really nice place uh, to buy it. Unfortunately, we missed the buy by about a uh, dollar. But you'll notice here that it, this morning, You'll see the 61% retracement today was exactly 61% from the December 23rd low, and it was a 382 off of the December 22nd low. That was last Tuesday and uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and now of course we're look, we're approaching those old highs up there at 1816. Folks, this gold market is looking more and more bullish all the time. Um, as you can see, it just happened real early in the morning, 1804. So I didn't see it till afterward, but. But uh, it certainly looks like it wants to go higher, and uh, I don't see any reason why not. The open interest is starting to increase. December is a really pivotal month for gold folks, so maybe it'll invert this year. I don't know, but if you're 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, 2000s, uh, you, you, the last five years, we've had a major turn in gold. I'm going to be covering that also in the newsletter coming out this uh, next week, so um, that'll be a, the beginning of the year thing. So it, It's got a really strong cycle in there, so we need to pay very, very close attention to that. But, uh, the reason why I say that, folks, if we can get Bitcoin to 50 some thousand we can certainly get gold to three or four thousand dollars without any trouble i mean everybody's used to it now at two and three two two thousand fifteen hundred it's not like back in the old days when gold was trading for you know 220 300 you know in that area and then we ran from 300 well we actually went from 190 to uh 
866 into January of 1980. And from there, we started a 22-year bear market in gold. From 1980 to 2001, 2001 I think it bottomed at around $2.50 an ounce. That was you know, a considerable uh, retracement from where we, uh, where we started back at uh, 110 when, uh, well, actually when when uh, Nixon took us off the gold standard, we were physical gold was actually up around 110. It wasn't $35 an ounce, uh, that for sure. Okay, we got a couple other charts here for uh, the market that we wanted to look at. Uh, one of them here is our uh, standout stock, which is uh, Apple. As you can see here, we stopped at the 61% retracement there for three days from December 22nd through uh, t December 27th. And then today, we reached up to 178, which was the 78% level, 78.6% retracement of that high. And so that's it. Now, this is not a 135 pattern, folks. The reason why, you have to have symmetry there. In other words, the, the time distance between 1, 3, and 5 have to be very, very close to be equal. They don't have to be perfect, but this one is so far off that that is not a 135 pattern. That Those are the definitions that you have to use when you're watching these things because you want them to be uh, you know, really as close to the time as you can possibly be, so your risk is as as small as possible. That's uh, what we're watching as we go through looking at these charts here. Now, I wanted to bring to your attention something that we've got to be watching very, very closely. Now, this is natural gas. I want to get this up here because we made new contract lows on uh, Thursday. And uh, you'll notice here today uh, we, we went down and tested. looked like we were testing the low. Now we've rallied quite a bit. Now I was watching this because we've been here now for three weeks, and we make a new low by just a little bit. I mean, you're talking about a dollar in natural gas, dollar and a half, and it doesn't go anywhere. And that sets up that possible yum-yum trade that uh, we've looked at with John Hill before. And lo and behold, if you remember the uh, chart that we did on, uh, on Apple, uh, let, let's try that. The crude oil we did. Now, this one is different. Let me show you why. Here is the 78% retracement in the natural gas. We had our low there on December 23rd. We rallied up almost to the 61% retracement. And that is a 135 pattern. If you look at that from the 10th or the 22nd to the 23rd uh, to the 24th, that's exactly what we had. And then we came down and last night. And this morning, this morning made a slightly lower low at the 78% level. Then it rallied up, backed off a little bit there at 30.65, and away it went. Now, that sets up an ABCD in a bear market, folks, up around 396, excuse me, 394. And I believe if you go look at your charts, uh, that's pretty much we've, what we've hit so far today was uh, that 394. Now, that's an ABCD pattern. And it makes that a garden. So there's raw, really strong resistance up here in that uh, 392 to 394 area in the natural gas. I don't believe it hit it because my alert didn't go off, but uh, I'm not sure. Can someone tell me what the high on that natural gas is today? Just so we can double check, I'd like to find out if that, in fact, uh, is the case because I didn't see anything. Uh, is it 408 right now? Wow. It went 400. Yeah, it went way above that. Wow, that's good. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate it. The problem is, folks, I'm on my little, I'm on my laptop. I got to keep this simple for myself, and uh, I, I really just can't pull everything up and see all these charts and try to do this and answer questions. Uh, well, not we never have any questions, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I just can't do it all. Anyway, uh, we'll do what little we can is what we're going to be trying to uh, trying to look at. Okay, now we've uh, covered the Nike. We've covered the ES. We've covered the gold. Here's one that I messed up. Doggone it. I'll tell you, I missed this one here. I tried shorting the crude oil, uh, the soybean oil last night. And uh, what I did was I was selling. You see it gapped up there? Uh, this morning, uh, Sunday night, it gapped up. It went up to that gap level at 50 percent. So I said, "We'll take a small," because that was an ABCD pattern. I said, "But you've got if this thing gets above 56.32, uh, look out!" And uh, away it went. It's already up to 
I believe it's made the 5754 already today. And the reason for that is and we're in the middle of a growing season in South America and there are just about half of the production in the world now comes from that area as I recall. I think it's around 43%. Z would know that number exactly and I'm sure Rich Anderson would, but I know it's something like that that would be really uh, really interesting. So the this is what I was watching now and this is what you do is you try to keep your risk as absolutely as small as possible. That's the real thing to look at. Now, you'll notice the ABCD down on this. We, we saw that one. That was a real easy one. Then we rally up. We pull back to the 61% retracement, another easy buy. Look, how it took three days from the 16th to the 19th to make a 61% retracement. That's a, that's a very powerful chart. Now we're off to the races. So you've got to start paying attention. Now, the other one that we're doing here is, uh, and uh, this one it was working the last time I saw I don't know if it's still working or not, but let's get this up here and take a look at it. And that is the uh, the Christmas corn. Not Chris, not Christmas anymore. Mar it's the March corn now. We rolled over anyway. The uh, the seventy eight percent level and all this was came in at six ten. And the high, I believe, was 614. Now, someone be so kind enough to tell me where we are in the March corn right now. I'm going to figure out how to get this data coming in at the same time. Hey, stay tuned for the Wolf Trader. He'll be right. Shane Smolian will be right up with us at the break. So live every day at 611. Thank you, Bob. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have our good friend and market technician and wolf trader himself, Shane Smolian, on the line. Happy holidays to you, my friend. Good morning, Larry. Happy holidays to you, too. How's everything? Thank you. Well, it's good. How the little ones do for presents-wise? They come out okay? I think so. I think so. Santa, <laughs> Santa was good to them, for That's sure. Good. Tell, tell us what Santa has for us today here at TFNN. Well, uh, I'm gonna. St I've got a lot to cover today, but I, I'd like to start out with um, some of the successes we've had in 2021, uh, n namely with the portfolio concept, which is what we're working with. So, uh, very quickly, I just want to talk about what I'm going to show you. These graphs. These are actual profit graph histories that happened that were posted uh, in newsletters, and they're documented in the newsletter and Twitter. So these are all. Uh, re recorded and documented and published signals. And so the whole concept of the portfolio analyzer is to take these different systems that we have. We have the double lunar, we have the Fed juice, and to put them all together into a portfolio. And so when you do that, the idea is that, first of all, you're keeping score of all of your trades and what's going on, but you're also blending these different systems together. So when you blend them together, the idea is that uh, you reduce the volatility and so when we look at these different profit curves, I'm going to show you a few of these. This is the S&P here. This is the double lunar cycle that we've been running since March. Uh, you can see this has pretty much been steady progress. It does have some drawdown into here. Uh, but the idea is when you combine it with other systems like Bitcoin, this is Bitcoin here. This is the double lunar cycle here. And again, these are actual uh, signals that were posted and published. Uh, and this is the 10-year double lunar cycle. When you put all these together, you get a much, you get a very smooth curve. And so that's really one of the big things that we have accomplished in 2021, uh, to the concept of creating a portfolio, a long, short portfolio that's always trading. You're always in the market. It's long and short. But combining these systems together really creates a powerful long-term portfolio uh, for, for people who are interested in longer-term trades. So that's something that we've really, I think, has been the, the shining star of 2021. Uh, and so that that is something that we look to continue to expand. And we're going to have more of these portfolios uh, out there on the site. I already have some of them posted on the site, but I just wanted to highlight that. Now, looking forward a little bit into 2022, 20, uh, I'm going to talk about what I call command and control here. Uh, these are what when we have these charts, we, we look at these are going to be the three basic pillars that we look at. We look at the Fed juice, the double lunar cycle, which I just showed you. And now we're going to look at what's called the polar R squared. Uh, and, the, and this is focused on now very short-term trades. These are going to be one-day opportunities, uh, high-probability trades, whereas the Fed juice can go on for weeks or months, and the double lunar usually goes on for about a week. This is now going to be the pillar for next-day type of trades. So these are going to be high-probability plays, and this is really what we're focusing on in 2022. I'm focusing on creating some high-probability opportunities uh, for subscribers uh, going forward. And so... We already have the day percent statistics, which talk about the next day. Uh, but the polar R squared trader is rolling out now. It's actually available now for multiple symbols. And then we're going to have these code breakers concept coming out too. Uh, but this is available now. So it's available for all of these uh, symbols that you see here. Copper, silver, gold, natural gas, oil, US dollar, Canadian dollar, British pound, yen, Australian dollar, Bitcoin, Cardano, 10-year note, corn, S&P, Tesla, Caterpillar, Apple, gold miners, VIX, Bank of America, Broadcom, and we just added Arc K Innovations on the stock ETF service. And just to give you an idea of what this looks like, when you look at these charts, the whole concept of this polar R squared is to give you very short one-day opportunities. And so if you look on this chart here, I've labeled this A, A through G. Uh, but these these represent actual signals that occurred here. And so this letter B here, this is these are one-day signals only. And you can see when these come into play, you just get a one-day play uh, for these and and so the focus is on very short-term type of signals and it can be very powerful you can you can catch major turning points here in this letter e here you can see this catches a high here next day down letter f here catches a high next day down so um, these are th this is now available uh, and we're going to be focusing on this in the early part of 2022 uh, so we also have uh, we also have st streaming available here uh, of these of these symbols so if you want to check these out, you can you can see those. 
All right. So uh, that's just a little bit about what we've done or what we're doing. But let's talk about some other markets now. So one of the first things I want to talk about is uh, Bitcoin here. Now, Bitcoin, this is a, a market that uh, we have really, I think, done a good job of uh, forecasting this year. This is what happened this year uh, with the cycle. This is the cycle that we had called the, the hottest cycle. Uh, and this is one of our new additions here. Uh, we had a high on Bitcoin here coming into uh, early November. And so I feel like that this was a really good uh, focus this year because we were able to really keep a lot of people out of trouble. Now, you can see here, this doesn't show the price of Bitcoin, uh, but we were able to forecast this big drop in Bitcoin uh, coming up. And I'm going to show you the chart here also. Uh, this is Bitcoin here on the chart. And you can see that this is also another forecasting signal here we have here, which is the solar cycle here, which was declining. And now Bitcoin is coming into some type of a short term low. Uh, but again, uh, I feel like that these new cycles, the hottest cycle and the solar cycle has been uh, very accurate in, in forecasting this. And so I think Bitcoin still has some issues ahead of it. I think uh, because we're having uh, so many uh, so much uncertainty right now that uh, I think people are probably looking to move more towards gold layer. I know you've been talking about this low coming in on gold. Uh, and do you still feel that way that gold is making a base into here? Yeah, I sure do. It sure looks good to me. And the open interest is increasing. This is what, like, what you like to see. So, Okay, great. So, so I think what you see with Bitcoin and gold is they tend to run opposite of each other. Uh, so for whatever reason, they have inverse seasonal patterns. So when gold tends to go up, Bitcoin tends to go down. So I think Bitcoin could still have some more issues here uh, going forward. So uh, speaking of gold here, we'll talk about gold now. So again, gold, we had the, the hottest cycle. Again, we had a high here. This is, And I'm just going back and showing you a, kind of a recap of 2021. But you can see here, we did have a high on gold coming in in, in November. Uh, and it did track this decline into gold. And so we are basically here right now on gold, and it's forming some type of a basing pattern. Pretty much what you're saying, what you're seeing on these markets, uh, gold, gold is forming this basing pattern. And so I think that gold and Bitcoin could be headed in opposite directions right now. Um, and, and this is, again, this is the actual price chart of gold. Uh, but that, that hottest cycle, when I call it the hottest cycle, what we're doing is we're identifying the cycle that has the most – success and the, hottest, the highest probability of working at any current time. So certain cycles, ro they kind of rotate through time. So what we do is we identify the ones that are the most successful. And so it's it's done a good job. I mean, it's done a good job of, of forecasting these broad moves. And so this is something, the hottest cycle, this is something that we're looking to expand. Uh, we started it with Bitcoin and we started it with gold and the S&P, but I'm, I'm looking to expand this because we were basically running like a little test to see how does this how does this really work? If you take the hottest cycle, the one that's running the hottest, how does it go forward? And it was a it was a success. It was a success in Bitcoin and gold. The S and P has kind of been all over the board, uh, but I think this is really a a good um, concept going forward. Now, gold is coming into some positive seasonals now, so gold and Bitcoin are kind of running opposite. As is the bond. The bond kind of tracks what gold does. They they t they tend to track together. Uh, so I think. I think, Larry, you're, you're on the money here with gold, that it is, it is looking like mm -hmm. it's trying to form some type of a base. And so we do have the potential here. Okay, we're going to be right back with Shane Smolian, wolftrader.com, folks. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
the technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with TheWolfTrader.com. Shane Smolian, you want to continue, my friend? Sure. So we talked. We started out talking about the concept of portfolios and short-term plays, and then we got a little bit into Bitcoin and gold. Let's talk about what's going on with the S&P, with the Fed taper, because this is important. Uh, we're kind of lost in the, all of the holiday uh, uh, euphoria right now in these markets and this light volume. Uh, but the, the Fed taper is real. It is coming. It cannot be ignored. Now, currently, the Fed's purchasing about $90 billion per month, more or less, around there. Uh, now, this taper is going to accelerate. It's going to go to $30 billion per month, which, mean, which means it's going to be over in about three months. Uh, they're going to start cutting back by $20 billion in treasuries, $10 billion in mortgage-backed securities. Uh, I do want to point out that this has quadrupled the rate of previous tapers. In other words, the, the, the initial taper was already double the rate of previous tapers, and this one is going to be – now it's four times, so it's going to end at March. Uh, this, is, this is not good for markets. Now, this is the original timeline here. Uh, of the taper. It, it originally was going to go into late June. So June the 30th, uh, that's when it was originally going to end. But now it's actually accelerated. So this chart shows you how much faster uh, that this taper is coming in now. Uh, and so it, it, this is going to have dramatic effects. And you can see here, this is 1231. This is this is like now. It's like in a week, not even a week, at the end of this week, all of a sudden the, the bottom drops out of this thing. Uh, so we need to be careful about this. Now, this is the two of them together. So just so you can see the contrast here. Uh, the original taper was kind of was which was already double was here, and now this one is four times. Um, this is going to be a really, I think, a hard landing for the market. I don't think this is. There's no way you can spin this positive, uh, particularly when you go back and study what has happened. Uh, and so one of the things that I like to look at is that the relative strength of the banks, because I think this is important. Uh, I, we track this all the time. So uh, this is the S&P 500 here uh, at the top. You can see this is uh, this was actually this was before the open. It's it's up today. Uh, but, you know, J.P. Morgan is one of the big players. J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. These are one of the big banking players. And you can see that the relative strength here is plummeting. Uh, from the banks because they don't like this concept of higher rates and it's not good for them. So this is a very important indicator that I think measures a, a, a health of the markets. And so this is plummeting right now. So this is not a good sign. This is not what you want to see uh, going forward. So I would caution everybody right now to be careful 
uh, because we are around these holiday periods. And the holiday periods uh, create abnormal market volume. It's typically positive seasonals. I mean, this is like two of the most positive weeks of the year for, for the S&P. Uh, but we got to be careful because of what is coming. Uh, if the Fed wasn't tapering, I wouldn't be so worried. So uh, I talk about this before. I spoke about this on November 24th, but I'll say this again. Uh, based upon the, the Fed internals, the S&P is in a bear market. Uh, and people might say, well, how can you say that? It's pushing to new highs today. It's, it's making all of these rallies. I'm going to explain to you why in a second. So the, the evidence is that we're coming off of this. Uh, essentially, on July the 6th, the, the, the market makes a peak here, which I'll show you here on this graph. Um, this, this is the graph here of the S&P. This is the really important graph to take a look at here. And I'm going to show you a bigger, a longer term view here. But this is on July the 6th here. You can see that all, the, these Fed internals here, the market was in a nice steady bull. And then all of a sudden, the Fed starts to pull back here on July the 6th. Uh, and these Fed internals do start creeping lower. And what happened was the market was able to go up for a couple more months. Then it starts heading down. This was right after the Afghanistan pullout. Here it starts to pull down. Then the Fed responds here. Uh, market. This is what I call the bluff. The market goes up. Uh, Fed starts to pull back here. The market starts to pull back. I mean, this is lockstep. If you take a look at this, it, it pretty much tracks what the Fed does. Then you see this little push up here. Uh, this is this is right before they announced they're going to double the taper. So they always had something in in plan again play. They always had something going on to try to push this up uh, right before they announced this. And now we're in a sharp pullback here because they have to pull back because we have this taper in progress that's four times the amount. That we've ever seen so i would be care very careful into here about this market now this is a longer term view i'm going to i'm going to kind of zoom out here so you can see the whole picture here um but um essentially if you go back th what this chart is let me explain to you what this is so first of all going back here in the letter a this is right after the election the fed had been pulling back for a long time before the election then the election hits this is november of 2020 uh, and then it starts to to boom. You see this big boom here into the letter B here. This is all the way into April. Now, this is what I would call a very – this is a very sustainable bull market in terms of what the Fed is doing. The market was in lockstep. Uh, and, Larry, I don't, you know, if you, if you recall, I came on your show in March of 2020, and I was calling for a low then. I mean, I felt that uh, based upon what the Fed was doing, that we would make a full recovery. And, of course, we did, and we, we've gone on to new highs. But then they start to pull back here. And if you see this letter C here, this is really when the trouble starts. This is when the Fed, this is when the bull market ends here. This is when the Fed starts to pull back. Uh, and so they, they, they have a very sharp pullback here. I think they were trying to see what would happen with the market. And then, of course, we did get our pullback here. Uh, and it was pretty, pretty sharp. Uh, but then the Fed came in and the Fed started to stimulate again uh, to stop this decline into here. And so this is what I what I call it, that bluff, the Fed bluff into there. And so I think that that was the first time that they realized that something is going on here, they, that they can't they can't pull back. Uh, but then they get in this position where they have to taper uh, because of the inflation. So they, they pull back again here. You can see all the way down here into this letter F here. I want you to notice that the market also pulls right back when the Fed pulls back. So uh, this is this is lockstep. This is not something that uh, the market can't go against the Fed for that long. Uh, and then they run it up here into the meeting where they announce that they're going to double the taper here. Uh, and so the market the market you know goes up with that too. Now, where are we right now? Well, essentially we're into this period here where we have these these positive market seasonals right now pushing this up to new highs. Uh, but I want you to, to notice something here, that these internals are plummeting here, and they're going to have to continue to plummet because once the, the, the QE ends, uh, the internals are going to start to sink, and they're going to start to sink rather rapidly. So I think the days here are numbered for the S&P. Uh, you know, once we get to January 1st, once we get past all of this happy, happy holiday stuff, uh, I think the reality is going to set in, and I think it's going to be it's going to be trouble. And and I you know if you look at this parabolic path we're on here on the market, uh, it makes a few touches on this parabolic path here. Uh, it makes actually it makes about five different touches on this. Uh, but to me, this looks like a rounding top here on this S and P. Uh, and if the Fed was not getting weaker, I would definitely be more bullish on this market. But we know that this is coming for sure, 100 percent. This is going to happen. The taper is going to happen. The bond purchases are going to end at the end of March. And when we follow the history of this, 
uh, the market eventually will catch up to the Fed internal. So it's just a matter of time. And so I would just caution everybody here that this is not what it appears to be. Uh, there's not one documented case since 2009 where the S&P has been able to go without the Fed. And I can go back and prove that to you. I can go back through history and show you. I've studied this stuff all the time. So even on the short term, if this pushes up and it ekes out a little bit of a high and it makes every, you know, oh, it, oh look, it made a new high and it's just eking it out. <sighs> Long term, I don't think it can do it without the Fed. Okay, listen, let's stay with us for the last segment, please. Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. We'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. Speaking with Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com. Shane, we have a question from one of our listeners from Louisiana, Faraday, Louisiana. And his sure. question is, is there any Bradley dates that are coming up uh, early in the year that would have an effect on these markets? Bradley dates. Um, I don't have – yeah, yeah, I do actually. I have the optimized Bradley up on the website. Uh Generally, Bradley is falling for the next few months. It's it's at a peak right now, uh, but let me see if I could find it and for these people. They're curious about this, but Bradley is generally falling in the next few weeks, in the next few months. Uh, the Bradley was pretty strong into this month, uh, but for the most part, it is it is going to be weak. If I if mm -hmm. I recall, I'm trying to get the chart loaded here. Uh, Bradley, here we go. Give me one second. 
So, Brad, okay, so here's a Bradley. Yeah, Bradley is hitting a peak uh, on 1229, uh, which is two days, and it's generally falling for about two months. Uh, so it's, uh-huh. it's pretty weak coming into the next couple of months. Okay, well, that's pretty good. All right, that's pretty good. Now, is there anything that you would like to warn people about? Like, you know, sometimes, you know, these things really don't work. Would there be a place here where you have to throw in the towel and say, well, I've got this one wrong? I mean, what, you know, I'm well, just looking I would at say from, from the, my experience, you know? <laughs> well, I would, I, would, I would say it by this. I would say if, first of all, things are not as always as they seem, especially on the holidays, so be careful with that. But yep. I would say if the Fed changes pivots if the fed pivots and stops the taper and and this and you see these internals start to rise again then it's over uh Mm -hmm. we've never like it'll go it'll go higher Uh, but we have never once seen the s p go against the fed now the the internals it's not all qe okay this is measuring multiple fed operations but the uh, qe is a big part of these internals so um if the fed does continue this taper uh, there has not been one documented case. I've gone back through the history of this thing. I mean, it can go for a few weeks or a few days or even a month. You can see here from letter C to D, but can't go long term uh, without the Fed. So that would be my, what I would say. Watch the Fed. Hey, thanks for calling it, calking in today and being our guest. We appreciate it. Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com. We'll see you all tomorrow, folks. Thanks, everyone. May God bless.